Hi everyone, so welcome back and today I have a tag for you guys, my first tag. It is called, and you, um, you're going to see me and you're going to see my book because I actually put the questions in my book. So, um, so it's the Latina tag and um, for those of you who cannot imagine that I'm Latin, um, if you can't tell my accent, yes, um, I am a Latina. So uh, let's get started. So the first question is, what is your nationality? I am Puerto Rican. And for those who are Puerto Ricans, I'm Boricua. So um, the second question is, when was the last time you visit Puerto Rico? The last time I visited Puerto Rico was in 1982. It's been that long. Actually, I don't have a lot of family members in Puerto Rico. So um, my parents were raised and born there, and then they came to this country. Um, so uh, there's no reason for me to go back there. Uh, third question. Favorite dish? Oh my God. I love all Spanish dishes. But my favorite is yellow rice, steak, and lettuce with tomatoes and a piece of avocado. You cannot have, um, uh, in our culture, we cannot have um, rice and beans and steak or chicken with, without some salad or some avocado. We're very, uh, a lot of us like avocado and I'm one of those. Um, I'll put avocado in anything. Uh, the next question is, uh, household items that describe your culture. Now, for those Boricos out there, I know that when I tell you, when I show you what I'm going to show you, you guys are going to laugh, all right? Um, if you are a, a true Boricua, regardless if you were raised or born over there or not, or if you're a New Yorican like myself, you're going to recognize these. And this is, these items have been in my life since I was a little girl. Okay, so let's, let me show you. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is Café Bustelo. And this Café Bustelo, uh, we, uh, the Latin culture, a lot of us, this is what we, this is what we, we drink, okay? And personally, I've been drinking Bustelos all my life, since I was a little girl. Um, our parents didn't think back in the day that caffeine was bad for us. So you were two, two, three or four years old, hey, you was drinking Bustelo with adults. Um, till this day, this is what I drink. Alright. Then of course, a little uh, black coffee, which is um, Café Negro. And uh, we, we, it's basically a, like, a, like a cappuccino. And uh, so this, this is what that is with my, my coffee. All right, so uh, in my house, this is what we have, all right? And for those who do not recognize what this is, these are the keyless uh, um, salted um, crackers. And my favorite is dip the crackers into my coffee in the morning and just dig in, okay? Or some crackers and some ham and some cheese with some butter, okay? There we go. And uh, then the other item that I wanted to show you that was not, f uh, well, it's food related, but it's not, you know, something that you can eat. And here you guys are going to laugh again. If you're Boricua, you do know that these pots live with us, okay? This is a one-time purchase, ladies, one time, all right? This is something that you purchase and it's with you forever. Forever and ever? Yes, forever and ever, okay? This is something that you can... You can give to your grandkids, and it'll still, and it'll still be around, all right? These pots come in all different sizes. They come in these tiny little cute little uh, pots. Then they come in a big, big humongous uh, pot where you can do um, mofongo, and you can do sopaos. And basically, for those, those of you that don't know Spanish, those are basically stews. Uh, you make uh, um, any type of um, stews and vegetables and beef and chicken, those big pots are for that. But this is basically my, I have three of these. I have a small one, this is my medium, and then I have my rice. Ladies, what do we use this for? Rice, okay? Um, this is like an iron cast, and what we do is we put our white rice or our yellow rice, it doesn't matter, and it cooks it to perfection. And then the smaller one, I use it for beans, okay? And then the, I uh, have, um, and this one I use sometimes for like a beef stew. So this is a must, a must um, in our culture. Um, I try to keep it as clean as possible, 
but um, if you have parents that are old school in our culture, they, they tend not to really scrub this down. They, they feel their theory is that um, if you scrub it down, you're taking out, you know, um, you, you're taking out the, the, the properties that actually makes the rice good. I don't do that. I tend to scrub this bad boy because they do get dirty really quick. Um, they gravitate to oil and um, so this this took a lot of scrubbing okay and this is how I maintain them so for those uh, you guys I hope you enjoy this I know I did and uh, for those for, for those of you guys that are not Latin um, our culture is a a, a, a wonderful culture uh, we 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 a lot of our parents immigrated to um, to the states but we're part of um, we're part of the United States, okay? So it's not a big difference. Um, but we do have our different cultures, and, and guess what? So many people like our Spanish food, and it's for something, right? It has, it has good taste. So let me go back to my uh, other question, and I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, let's see. So it's, uh, the, the next question is, do you speak Spanish? Yes, I do. I'm fluent in Spanish, and I also re read in Spanish. Um, my parents were very om ominent about that. And um, yes, I speak Spanish. What part of Puerto Rico are you from? Um, I could tell you where my parents are from, I, uh, because I was, a ra I was born here and raised here. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not from there. But my parents um, are from, my father is from Aguada, um, and my mother is from Ponce. My mother is half Italian and half Puerto Rican. Her father was uh, Italian and her mother was um, Puerto Rican. So she's from Ponce. Um, it, then the last one is, uh, no, I guess that's it. That's it, ladies. That's the last, uh, last question. I thought it was a little bit more than that. So, I would like to tag my wonderful friend, um, my first subscriber, so she has a little uh, special part um, in uh, a, a special part in my life. Um, her name is Lori from Glam the Diva. So, Lori, I'm tagging you the, on this tag, okay? I hope to see, uh, I see what you're going to put on yours. And then I'm also going to be tag, tagging uh, Lady Flaquita, and uh, I hope you do this tag also, and New York Girl Beauty. So girls, I hope you join me in this tag. If you've done this tag before and I didn't notice it, then you know what? We tag somebody else because it's really important for us to let everyone know a little bit about us, you know, and, and, and our culture and, and what we do at home and how we do things. And uh, so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.